Hello everyone, now I'm gonna talk about the fuzzy connection between these two books. While the central bank is responsible for an inflationary and deficit for unlimited increase in the amount of money uh, to, to supply the economic cycle with liquidity through applying different policies like monetary and fiscal policies, uh, however, the amount of money is generally limited in the case of crypto payments. For Bitcoin, for example, the number of di digital coins is limited to 21, um, uh, 21 million uh, Bitcoins. Considering its advances, crypto pr uh, procedures are used to eliminate the intermediary like banks, which might create unemployment in the job market, but instead uh, money transfers can be carried out directly from one person to another, which in turn makes money transfers uh, really easy in a, just in a few seconds without small amount of charge across national borders. And through the use of cryptography, digital uh, currencies are generally safer and more difficult to manipulate than in the paper money system. And due to the transparency uh, on the blockchain, uh, transactions are evident to everyone uh, it's publicly shared and which also makes corruption more difficult that's why some states are now considering the use of blockchain in the public sector as well thank you